I'm Teresa. I'm David. We're retired and road tripping, and if you're wondering what that little video was, we are in South Dakota now. We left Teddy Roosevelt National Park this morning. We actually skipped a town. We were planning on staying at Bowman, but the campgrounds just didn't, they didn't feel right to us, so we just kept driving. Let me flip this around. We're at Riva Gap Campground in the Custer National Forest. Dave, if you got any info you want to share? Yeah, we come down US 85, down through Bowman, and turned off at Buffalo, and got on South Dakota 20 and came east to get to the National Forest. It is 94 degrees out there, and this is the first time that we've been to a Forest Service campground where they have electricity that you can use. So we're down here. Brand new pole. It says electricity budgets. for your use. And look at our view. Okay. Now we're going to go on up this hill and we are going to check out the rest of the campground. All right. We have never been here before. We have no idea what's around the corner. We do know that it is very hot today. Is that site number one? That goes all the way back. Got enough okay. cord you can camp there and plug it in. Yep. Here's a site. That's two. They also have this uh, road motor vehicle map. Dave is checking out. If you can ever get a hold of a motor vehicle map, it shows tells you a lot of information. Okay, there's a spot there. That guy, he just came in here. He wheeled in after we were here. This is the section we're in right here. Beautiful little campground. Plenty of pine trees. These sites aren't numbered, so I don't really know to. Oh, somebody's the got that one. Number one through six as you work your way to the south. The road makes a Y. Is that a spot or is that just a road? That's a Y that gets to the very end, like where the one we went left. Okay, we'll come back and go down that road. Just an iconic United States Forest Service campground. Pine trees everywhere. It is beautiful here. Another vault toilet. Another vault toilet. Here's a little spot right out in the sun. That wouldn't be fun today. It's up to 94 today. Look at that view. Beautiful. Slim buttes. That's what those are called, slim buttes. I don't know if we're gonna have a chance to go and get a closer look at those. Uh, Dave and I were just talking about our plan for the rest of our trip. There's a little spot right there in the middle of that meadow. Yep, it does. We're gonna turn right here. Maybe three sites here. All right, back at it here. We actually had to stop and use that vault toilet. There's a little site right there and a bunny rabbit. this campground. It's got high, high reviews right there. on uh, iOverlander. They got plenty of vault toilets around here. Yep. That's a pretty spot. Big spot. Okay. That little 
looks like it's it. Uh, we're actually going to go back and check out that first spot. Dave thinks that we might have enough cord. We can take that first spot and still have electricity. We're going to go and check it out. We're heading back out to the highway. When we drove in, we noticed they had an antelope research center. So we're out looking to see if we can find some antelope. It is absolutely beautiful here. Beautiful. Just right up. Well, that is where we're camping. Right up there. from where we're camping at. They've used this map. They've got this first camping back here. So we're just kind of checking this out. Kind of a rough road, but... Imagine it's rougher than that, man. Well, we found it. It's right here. It's on the map. Right through there. Right through there. See it? Okay, we're gonna turn around now because this road is getting rough again. But that's how you do it in the National Forest. You get you a motor vehicle map. They have black dots that show you the dispersed camping areas. Yep. And then if you're brave enough to go for it, some of the most beautiful camping you'll find in America in your National Forest. Working our way back down this Forest Service Road. Just wanted to show you how beautiful it is over there. Also wanted to show you, we're coming up on the gate. Okay, Forest Service Roads are going to have gates, some of them. Just undo the gate, drive through the gate, shut the gate. It's the same way it was when you was hiking at Teddy Roosevelt on the, uh, the trail to the Petrified Forest and the Elkhorn Ranch. You had to park outside the park, but you had to go through a gate and make sure you closed it. All right, we feel like we are being real babies. Like, you can't really hear us very well probably because of the air conditioner, but it is still 94 degrees. I'm really great. Uh, Riva Gap Campground is a free camping campground. Free to camp here. The electricity box right here is just an added bonus on our end. We are so grateful. We're going to get in there. We got the air conditioner going. That's where Bandit is. We're going to get in there and cool down a little bit. Try to figure out what we're going to do for supper. And then we will be back with you. Yeah.
here's some information on Slim Butte area. 80 square miles of Nature's Wonders National Forest. Slim Buttes are an elevated landmass between the Grand and Murrow Rivers in the shape of a huge L. 20 miles north and south, 10 miles east and west. Uh, National Forest, the great bulk of the area is in the Custer National Forest, a region of wonderful vistas as needed and noted below. Here's our view. Here's our supper. We're having pulled pork carnita nachos. We've got just disarray over here on the table. Check out our view. Still hot out here, but we're ready for a fire. We just decided we are moving to, whoops, my hand is in the way. We're moving on to <coughs> the wall at Buffalo Gap Grassland. Make sure and check out all of our playlists that we have on this trip. North Dakota, went up to Peace Garden, Buford Historical Site, Fort Union National Site. Just left Teddy Roosevelt National Park was amazing. We're heading down to the Badlands in South Dakota. I just wanted to come out here and show y'all how hard Dave is working on our next leg of our trip. Non-stop. He's got these maps out and his phone trying to find all the fun things. And while we're out here, I wanted to show you over here a sign about the electricity. We've never seen this at a national forest or United States forest campground. Electricity for your use. There's a little money box. Dave, you're gonna have to talk loud. It's windy out here. 1979. What, is what happened? Trip National Landmark. Woo! It is beautiful. It got windy up here. Yep. Woo! We're gonna go up there to the tippy top. Put an end to this video. On that map. All right, we're going to stay out here. It's windy. We're at the tippy top. We're not moving. It's beautiful out here. Yep. So glad that we came on to Riva Gap. Yep. United States Forest Service Campground, Custer National Forest. Dave, what do you got to say about this? Anything? Real nice place. Go from open grassland plains. All of a sudden, bang, you run into these little bitty mountains. Whatever they call these castle rocks pops up on the little place. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, the campground here has six official back end table fire ring spots, but there's many dispersed camping spots throughout. Yep. You can see where we're parked. Four vault ball bathrooms. Uh, they have electricity available that you can donate to if you like to. We appreciate that so much. We almost thought about staying two nights here, but we are heading in to camp at the wall just outside the Badlands National Park in South Dakota. Yep. So we're anticipating probably two nights there. Dave wants to see some big horn sheep and some rams. So that's what our goal is. This place is definitely worth it. This is a free campground. Bob toilets. I haven't seen water. I'm not sure that they have water I have here. To look back at that map again if they had a water spot or not. Yeah. They got electricity up through there, so they might be able to. Unless it's a yeah. hand pump. We'll have, to go, I'll have to go back and look. Okay, and to, if we don't come back, just assume there's no water. All right, Dave, anything else you want to add? No, nothing I can think can of. Can y'all see how beautiful it is? Yep. And I'm not sure if the full moon is going to be tonight. It's a Saturday, or sometime Saturday. If the full moon came out, this would be an amazing place to catch the full moon. All right, if there's nothing else, America is beautiful. Get out and see it. Full moon is uh, Saturday at 7.15 a.m. Today's Thursday? Yeah, not too far away. Okay. Uh, America is beautiful. Get out and see it. Like, subscribe, if you want to. We'll see you on the road.